Hi guys, so um, I'm actually back with another video today as you can see and it's a bit of an unusual one for me so I'm doing a haul video for um, some Simply Gilded washies and other goodies so uh, I've been obsessed with Simply Gilded for what maybe since late March so like almost three months now and um, her new releases are hectic as but I've managed to get a bundle each time but um, we don't have any of those here with us today I'm actually part of um, the two BST groups so both the American and the sorry not the American the international and the Australian only one so in those two groups you can get some really good stuff for like a reasonable price some of it is a bit like hiked up just because of how rare it is and some a lot of the um her older washies especially they're not going to come back so for collective purposes i guess that's why they can be quite pricey but um yeah i thought i'll just come on and show you what i've got um in the bst groups recently so firstly we have these four um marble washies and they're from the uh the marble 3.0 collection and um i'm actually not a fan of three of them because i don't I'm only really into uh, rose gold and holographic and sometimes silver foiling. And as you can see, these three are all um, gold foiling. So we've got a brown with a gold marble. And it's quite nice if you like, you know, like gold there. And then we've got a black and gold and that's this one here. And I mean, it's a nice pattern and everything. And obviously marbles, marbles, one of my favorites, but... Um, I'm just not a fan of the gold. So this is the um, sort of like a teal-ish blue with um, the gold marble again. The only one I'm probably going to keep is the um, the rose gold with the purple. And um, look how pretty that is. But yeah. So those four um, I got in a bundle from um, a girl. And then... So I've recently become obsessed with um, the Gems collection and um, it's an, a slightly older collection so I've had to try to like hunt it down sort of and so um, I saw this one on sale at the Australian BST group. So it's the pink gem. It's sort of, um, it's a pink with um, rose gold marbling, sorry not marbling, foiling and um, this one, like the pink is sort of ombre and um, there's different shapes of the gem and I think it's just super pretty and then so I got this one and then maybe what like two days later or something um the the girl that sold that one actually had another D stash and then she had the whole set for D stashing the set comes with three a darker purple this light blue and purple and then the pink with the rose gold which um I got already but um so I grabbed the set and I don't know if you can tell in this lighting, but these two are actually hollow um, foil, the gems. And then this one is with the, the rose gold. And these two, I especially love like the darker one. Yeah, how pretty is that? It's just like, I think hollow just looks so good with like a darker um, background color. And then, yeah, they're all sort of ombre with the um, the gem foiling. And I just, I'm so happy that I actually managed to get these three. The same D stash actually got three other washies. And so one of them is the Coffee 1.0. And I got the coffee 2.0 from um, in a bundle actually a while back, but um, I got the 1.0 this time and it's in a like a dark grey background. It's got all these things that's coffee related. So as you can see, there's like a bubble tea and then there's um, hot chocolate with marshmallow, coffee, and then tea, sorry, coffee. What's this? Like a honey jar sort of. And then bubble cup. I think this is the bubble cup. And then like, oh, this is the bubble cup, the real bubble tea. But, um, and then this one says tea, and yeah, and I just think this one is so pretty. I haven't opened it yet, as you can see, but, um, I've used the, the 2.0, which is in a, like a brown background, and that one is super pretty, so I'm really excited, um, to have gotten my hands on this one as well and to start using it. And then I also got the pink and rose gold uh bow so in both the 10 millimeter and the 15 millimeter and then this one i've actually wanted for a while as well because as you heard i'm obsessed with um rose gold foiling and so um i was really happy to have grabbed this one as well i'm also subscribed to the the simply gilded um subscription box which comes like this i don't know if you can see the whole thing but 
yeah, it comes like this, and the subscription box is quite hard to, well, it used to be very hard at least to get on the list sort of thing, but I think it's gotten a lot easier now, and I'll just show you everything that came in the box, and this month's theme, as you can see, is Life's a Peach, and um, everything is gold foiled, which is a bit unfortunate, but I mean, I can de-stash them relatively easily in the group, so I'm not too worried. So we've got um, a gem pen, and it's actually a really nice pen, like it's quite heavy not too heavy but like it's not just like a cheap plastic feeling pen if you know what I mean and so it comes with the gem on top and then it comes with like this nice peach color with the gold polka dots so I think if you were a fan of gold you'd um especially enjoy this one and then we've got um a bow a plaid bow so it looks like this and I don't know it's a bit like too uh summery for me especially because in Australia we're going through winter right now but um I think it's like it still looks really cute and is like pretty well made and but I just don't know if I would actually use something like this and then we've also got um some paper clips and so it comes with a peach one that says relax and then one of the signature um, simply gilded bow and I also think this is like really pretty but again it's gold so um, I'm going to have to de-stash this one as well and then she always um, makes an like a TN insert and I'm not a TN user but I think these are pretty cute they're just like a tiny little um, I don't actually know what size this is but it's just like a TN insert and I actually used the one from last month as like a, um, a washi um, swatch book for all the simply gilded washi I own and as you can see here it's again says life's a peach and a lot of people actually got confused I think because the writing is at the back um, they thought that this was meant to be on the front but uh, the book has just been binded wrong and so Aring said that um, her most of her inserts at least has like just a simple background with like the bow in the front and then the writing's actually meant to be at the back so that's how it's meant to be no mistake made there um, and also it always comes with a quote card and this one just says um, Life's a peach again, and I really like, um, you know, the floral, the peach blossoms and things like that, but it's just the fact that it's foiled gold that I'm like, I don't know what to do with it, <laughs> but yeah, and it also came with um, a sticker sheet, so it's got deco and um, functional, but I don't use um, a lot of sticker sheet like this because I don't use pre-planned inks, I still mostly do um, like a bullet journal style uh, ring bound um, planner is the one I'm using right now so I don't have a lot of use for this but um, I mean at the end of the day because I know I can de-stash them easily it's not an issue so um, here is the washies which I mean for a lot of people and myself included is the highlight of these um, these sub boxes and she always packages them really cutely in these like little you know plastic bags and this month is actually peach colored I hadn't realized before but yeah so it's peach colored to match the theme of the box and this month we were um, given five washies and unfortunately or fortunately for others I guess um, they're all gold foiled which means um, I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about them. I mean, this one is super pretty. So it's like a peach blossom. And it's like the, you know, the middle of the, it's the middle of the, um, the the quote card as well as the the insert but it's got a bit of gold foiling, but I feel like it's not that noticeable. And I just think this is like so pretty. Like, look at that. Like she, it's like a, such a, like unusual floral almost. But yeah, I really, really like this one. And then um, we were given two uh, bow washies this month, both the 10 millimeter and the 15 millimeter in the peach with champagne gold foiling. And this is one that came out, I think, late last year that everyone loved. And so I've seen this before, you know, we knew that it was coming with the May box. I've seen this go at some crazy ass prices, but um yeah, so if you were subscribed to the box, you'd be lucky enough to have grabbed both of these washies and you don't have to pay, I don't know, like $100 for them. <laughs> and then um, we have a nice little hot pink plaid with um, the gold foiling across the middle as well. And I'm not really a plaid girl, so I don't really like this. <laughs> but um, I'm sure, you know, if you were into this kind of stuff, you would um, get a lot of use out of it because it's such a, it's just like a nice sort of neutral, but not too neutral um, sort of 
plaid washi. And then last but not least, we have the word washi, which just has like a lot of cute um, peach sayings. So it's got like peachy king and um, life's a peach, of course, and pretty as a peach. So yeah. And she often does one of these uh, word washies, actually. And so that's everything that came in the sub box. And then lastly, I actually managed to score a bundle from the Planet D Scat sorry planet d stash group australia and um i got it at a really good price i'm really happy about it and uh it came with 25 washi i'm going to go through um the bow washies first and then we'll get through to the the numbers so if i can just grab this stack so as you can see this is uh, this is not even all of it but so we've got the turquoise and gold which, I mean, I don't know how I feel about it because obviously, as you can see, it's like a hot gold as well. So it's like pretty extreme. But I know this one, um, a lot of it's like one of those hard to find ones as well. And then these three are actually the Tropical 1.0s. So that's Electric Palm, Sunny Side Up, and Tropical Pink. And I know that Arrain just released the Tropical 2.0s, where um, the foiling on the Electric Palm and Tropical Pink is a bit different. So this is the 1.0. And then, I think I've just, like, I don't know, I feel like I'm just getting a lot of the same washies, but because this is the um, the rose gold and uh, pink washies that I showed you before. And, um, but because this was sorting a bundle, I didn't want to, like, you know, annoy the girl and be like, can I only grab blah, blah, and blah. But, so yeah, I just got the whole thing. And, I mean, I can always de-stash de those anyway. And, I mean, look how pretty it is. Would I really de-stash them? We'll see. <laughs> And then um, we've got the, the black and silver. So this one came out, I think, later last year as well. And I mean, I love some, I love me some silver. And I think this is a really pretty one as well. It comes in both the 10 millimeter and the 15 millimeter. And then this was the thing that like grabbed my attention right away when I saw, um, the photo of all these washies together um, when the girl posted it. So this is actually the um, the Galaxy 3.0 and sorry 2.0. So it comes with Twilight 2.0, which I have because uh, I ring actually restocked this. I think well, when was it? Um, I think it was with the like when she had released um, the candy bow and like the enchanted like the butterfly release, she actually restocked the um, Twilight 2.0 as well. And then this is the uh, I guess Galaxy 2.0 bow. It comes with a lot of variations. And my one comes with the pink across the middle, which I think is really nice. And this is um, hollow foiling. And oh yeah, by the way, the Twilight is um, rose gold rose gold foiling. And then um, the 2.0 constellations 2.0 which comes in sort of like a cloudyish background with um the constellation through it so it's sort of like an ombre as well not ombre so much but just like like a cloudy background i would say and then it's got um the moon so i think it's like a dark but purple background with the holographic moons over it which i think looks really nice like really witchy like that, that sort of vibe which i really enjoy and so i'm so excited to have snagged this um set because I don't know, I feel like Galaxy sets are just like really hard to find and I'm really happy that I got them. And then moving on to the number washes. I'm I'm not sure if some of these are like exclusive to Simple Gilded actually, but I tried to find out in the just like the general group just be by asking people like guys, can you help me ID these washes please? And um so I believe sprinkles, so this one, which is really cute. Um so it's like a pink top with um white and gold sprinkles at the bottom so this one um i think it is a simply gilded exclusive and then we've got like i call this the fireworks i don't know what it's actually called but um this one is also quite cute with um i guess fireworks on like a navy background and i think this one's also an exclusive and then we've got the watermelon which i have seen on um the website before and i think it's from the Aloha collection originally. So as you can see, it's like super summery with um, you know, watermelon themed. And then um silver blooms, which is one that I've also seen before. And I think this is like so much like it's such an underrated washi. It's got like it's like all a it's not so much a navy, but like a dark blue uh background, like a denim colour almost, with um white, like not white, like really thinly drawn um blooms and bits of like silver foiling as you can see, and I think this one is super pretty. And then there's one called, what well, I call it, the oil sleek. As you can see, it's sort of like, 
oil because it's like almost rainbow colored depending on um, which direction you turn it and yeah and then yep there's still more bear with me so then we've got um this one which i think is called what like blue stars or something so it's like a periwinkle background with um white for sorry white star as well as um silver foil stars and this one i also think is super pretty and it would just be like nice as like a because you know how with bows because i feel like at least it's like a strong pattern so sometimes it doesn't go with everything but with like a more neutral so-called neutral pattern like this um i feel like it's not, it doesn't really, because it doesn't stand out so much, um, you can really use it as like a background sort of color. And then um, classic, you know, white and gold striped. And I don't believe this is an exclusive. And I'm actually going to de-stash this because it's gold. <laughs> What's new? And next we have the teal and uh, gold rose. And I think this came in the, some of our fairy tale collection ages ago. I tried to stalk um, Irene's Instagram, like, back for from like ages ago to try to figure out what some of these washies were were sorry um and i well i think i i got most of them right but yeah so this is the teal and gold roses and then we've got two that um i do know for sure are um exclusive to simply gilded so first we have strawberry patch and i think this one is really pretty but again the problem is <laughs> gold foil but i mean i don't know i just feel like you know red and green is such like a cute combination with like these strawberries like thrown out and these like floral it's just again like another unusual floral pattern and i love floral so it's really hard for me to say no to them and then we've got our silver lining 1.0 so this one was like one of the four original washi that was in the first collection that Irene ever came out with and so she's actually got um um silver lining 2.0 in the recent new release but this one i think the background color is a bit lighter and the foiling is silver whereas the new one comes with a hollow foiling around the cloud and then last three, we're, we're towards the end. So first we have like a white floral and I've never seen this before. Um, I have, I couldn't find it in, on, sorry, Irene's um, Instagram either. So I don't know. I feel like this isn't an exclu exclusive, but I love, actually, I don't know if I love white washies, but this sort of like dark floral is like really pretty and I really enjoy it. So I think, um, yeah, I'm going to keep it and see what I can do with it. And then look, we've got a couple more left so this one is just some um, rose gold triangles and it's sort of more like i guess your run of the mill washi like the design's not really special but i don't know if um oh this sticker is falling off but anyway um because it's got the cardboard interior as well which um comes with irene's older washies so i don't really know um actually i think i saw this on her instagram but yeah so it's just like a simple one like that and then lastly we have um the silver stars which i think is like sort of pretty but i sort of don't know how i feel about it because um it's got a new year's eve vibe to it and so i feel like it's like fun for like celebration time and all that kind of stuff and also i don't know if it's just me but doesn't this look like it's got a lot more washi compared to some of the other ones so this is like brand new in the packaging and say for example this one this is also brand new but this one like the one on the on the left was that your right? Well, this one basically <laughs> looks like it's got a lot more washy than this one, doesn't it? Which I thought was kind of odd and kind of funny, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so I'll have to see how I'm going to use this one. And so that's the end of um, my whole Simply Gilded haul. As you can see, I've become slightly obsessed in recent times but can you really blame me like this so pretty there's some of like definitely some of like the prettiest washies i've laid eyes on and so um i but i'm going to have to stop buying it because here's the thing because the new release and like some of the restock happened the last weekend i've like spent so much money on these washi it's not even funny i know i, I like i've de-slashed some of them already so to you know to get rid of the ones I don't want and to give people the ones that I know they would use. And I just don't, like, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of, like, hoarding stuff in general. And I think it go, it's, like, the same with washi. Like, I shouldn't just be going around hoarding. But um, as you can see, I've got, like, how many rolls? Wouldn't it be fun if we counted how many rolls there are? Because there are a lot. Like, maybe, okay, let's guesstimate. Maybe, like, 50 I'll put in the comment below um, how many I've actually got. But yeah, um, thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.